Hey guys, Elite Clinical Research Group here. Today I want to talk about the three best entry-level jobs to get your foot in the door in clinical research. Hey guys, a lot of you may know about the main jobs in clinical research, project manager, project director, maybe clinical research associate or clinical trial manager, but you may have a harder time figuring out how you can get your foot in the door in order to get those next level jobs that you're looking for. Well today I'm going to talk about three jobs that you can apply for that are entry level jobs that can get your foot in the door into the clinical research field. The first job is a clinical research coordinator. Now these individuals work at the site level, normally at a big hospital or a clinical research center or even at individual clinics and they work hands-on with the patients. They administer informed consent. They help facilitate the day-to-day -day operations of the clinical research uh, organization. They may review and facilitate weekly, monthly, and annual reconciliation of patient billing. Uh, they may, let's see. They help recruit patients, they help screen patients, and they help enroll patients into the clinical trial. They are very, very hands-on in the clinical trial. That's why they are at the site level. And these are usually people who have worked in a hospital before, maybe a nurse uh, will have an easier time getting to be a clinical research study coordinator. Um, a lot of sites like when a it's a nurse because the nurse has experience actually dealing with patients. They can help draw blood so they don't have to hire a phlebotomist on top of that. So nurses are really a good fit for this position or really anybody can do the position as well. But especially if you're a nurse and you have those added patient interaction skills, that's definitely a plus when applying for this position. So number one, clinical research coordinator. The second position is what's called a clinical trial assistant or a clinical research assistant some companies call it. And the key distinguishing thing about this position is this is the entry level position at the CRO level or the pharma level, but particularly at the CRO level. So the clinical research coordinator was at the site level, the clinical trial assistant is at the CRO level. And what the CTA, as this often called, does is they may assist with case report forms, they may help resolve queries, they definitely have a good, strong understanding of the TMF because they're going to be the ones responsible for updating the documentation, uh, getting the documentation from the sites and from the CRAs and updating that into the trial master file. Some CTAs may even take meeting minutes for the CRA, CMA call or any other calls. It really can depend and differ based on the organization that you're working for. but. The CTA is on the clinical side of things and will typically work more closely with the site. So they will work closely with the clinical research coordinators from the sites and usually have a decent relationship with them as well as the clinical trial lead at the CRO level and have a good relationship with them as well. So CTA is another position in which you can get your foot in the door in clinical research and the next level up is particularly either an in-house CRA or a CRA. So if you're interested in that route, it's a good place to get started. And the third and final entry level position to get your foot in the door in clinical research is project specialist or project coordinator. And this is really the right hand person of the project manager. The project manager has the, the vision of the clinical trial, but the project specialist is really there to do the day to day things like add people to metadata, update the shared mailboxes, uh, basically help keep things in order for the project manager and for the project team. They will also help with trial master files like the CTA, uh, but the pr project specialist and project coordinator are on the project management side of things, which deals more with the sponsor. So they're not gonna have as much interface with the sites, only in certain situations like the CTA would, but the project specialist and project coordinator positions and there may be some other names floating around there for that position as well. It just, just, just depends on the organization. But they're going to be more directed towards sponsor work. 
but they will do some trial master file they will also deal with case report forms um, they will also have to deal with uh, working with project managers and CTLs and some of the clinical personnel they're really just a jack of all trades they, they're gonna do meeting minutes also this is definitely something they're gonna be doing because on the sponsor side of things there's meeting minutes for that and then there's internal calls that they're meeting minutes for as well so the people on the project management side of things will definitely have to do that I first got my start in the industry on the project managing on the project management side as a project coordinator so I'm partial to this position and I think it's a great way to get your foot in the door because it gives you a strong foundation and there's really not much that specifically the pro every project specialist or project coordinator might do because they really are a jack of all trades they do a little bit of everything so some project coordinators I know all they do is TMF where others they ne they never do TMF I do some vendor management others might be in the process of cleaning up their project point cleaning up their shared mailboxes doing things that way so it really just depends on the project manager that you work for and the company you work at but in my experience they're really a jack of all trades and a great way to get your foot in the door so if you're looking to get your foot in the door in clinical research I recommend start looking at clinical research coordinator project coordinator and clinical trial assistant they'll give you a good start to the clinical research field a good foundation to base your knowledge off and then you can work your way up from there alright guys if you like this video don't forget to share this with your friends uh, go ahead and like it and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already we want to get our subscribers up so go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below if you have any questions you can feel free to comment and we'll answer them as quickly as possible also send us an email at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com we will respond to those as well if you have any questions or want any uh, tips or any further tips on how to get into clinical research industry we're open for that as well and you can meet us you can email us there for all inquiries so thank you so much for taking time out of your day for listening to this video we'll see you guys soon take care